Hi, I'm Fred Barrionuevo, our business development specialist here in Chicago at Impact. Today we're going to be looking at part three of the warehouse lean operations series, and that's focusing on supply chain analytics. If you recall to the first episode, this is probably, in my opinion, the most important part of running any efficiency in any department at any organization, but certainly the data that's involved in this is going to be really key. So in an ideal situation, businesses would be able to run their operations where you would have the exact number of supplies that you need, you'd be perfectly efficient, and there would be no supply chain disruptions. Obviously that doesn't happen in reality, but you can get pretty close. So let's review the four areas that you have in analytics that are going to be really important to you. So the first of these four areas is called descriptive analytics, and that in a nutshell is just saying what has happened in the past. So for a number of organizations, you hopefully already have that data that you can look into, but in the example where maybe your warehouse is very paper-based, a lot of that key information might be in binders or on stacks of paper that are not readily accessible by technology that you can use nowadays. So in that regard, you'd wanna start by making sure that you can analyze what's happened in the past because that sets up all the data sets that you need to be able to do predictions for the future. And ideally, it's gonna allow you to look historically and say, this is where we should be focusing our efforts. Here are potentially some areas where we don't need to focus on right now. Once you've got an understanding of what's happened in the past, you really need to start to move towards diagnostic analytics. So that is not only saying what has happened in the past, but why did that happen? So for example, diagnostic analysis will allow you to ask questions like, why did my revenue fall in a certain sub-segment of the organization? Why do I have stock that's consistently running low at one of my warehouses? Why do I have stock that is left over and particularly too much of it is left over? Those are the types of things that diagnostic analytics is gonna be able to allow you to address. So once you really understand the history of data that you have for your organization, you can then leverage that to start to do predictive analysis. And that's really where you start to see the benefits of the data that you've gathered as an organization. So predictive analysis, a lot of times you'll see new technology like machine learning, for example, that will be able to look at your data sets and say, hey, I will predict that you are going to need this amount of stock, this amount of inventory. I know seasonally we need to adjust for these certain products that are gonna go up, so I can start to advise you, notify you, and let you know that that's a decision that you should make in the future or at a given date and time. So having that kind of forecasting power is then very powerful for you as an organization, but you can only get to that level if you have large data sets to begin with. So if you don't have data because a lot of it is still on paper, a lot of your historical data is not yet digitized, then you cannot take advantage of the predictive analytics that other organizations are that frankly are doing much better in terms of their lean operations. And finally, as you're able to predict what might come up in the future, there's a fourth type of analysis that you might do, and that's called prescriptive analysis. So that is, in any given moment, what is the best course of action for me? Things do change on the fly, and when that happens, what exactly is the decision that I should make? Uh, a truly good analytics engine is going to be able to make those recommendations for you. They're going to be driven by the data that you have, so you're moving away from a gut feeling reaction to what you should do and something that is basically being backed by all sorts of data that you've collected throughout time, ultimately allowing you to make much better business decisions. So many organizations either use an ERP system to look at the trends and patterns across their supply chain. In other situations, you might have a warehouse management system that you integrate to your ERP. In both cases, Impact can offer much guidance and assistance with that along with an ERP solution. You can see more about that at impactmybiz.com. Thanks for tuning in to our three-part series on lean operations for warehouse management.